So um, I'm here with Mark. Um, so Mark, how do I pronounce your name? It's Eilif. Mark Eilif. Mark Eilif. Great. So you're from the World Bank. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, well, tell me what you're up to here at the hackathon. Uh, I work with the Global ICT Group, and uh, we're trying to build toolkits um, to solve specific problems based around water and sanitation. Uh, the specific problem I'm working on at the moment is on water and sanitation in uh, Tanzania. And one of the things that we're doing is we're trying to sketch out a reporting system uh, for community feedback of uh, reports so they can send a report in through an SMS uh, which will go to their local council uh, which can then send the reports on to someone who's going to deal with the problem and solve it for the community members themselves. So you've been based out in Tanzania and it, yeah. I mean, you presented to everybody here today saying you want to build this, you wanted to build it on top of Ushahidi. Yes. And how's it gone in terms of, I mean, I'm sure you didn't know how this would evolve today. What happened? Uh, well, what's happening is that we've uh, got processes already worked out. Uh, so this is our system of triaging uh, reports um, that, uh, you know, please come in. Everybody share. I, uh, <laughs> I feel I'm like putting the spotlight. So well, Dirk, so Dirk. <laughs> Dirk, right, Dirk, nice to meet you. So hey, yeah, nice what's going on here? Uh, yeah, so, so as Mark is explaining, he'll do much better the job than, than I did, I can. But, um, so basically, uh, there's an admin who logs in this, into the system, he gets a list of reports that have been submitted. Um, some of the reports can be pure spam or, or you know, just not real, um, so he can reject those. The ones that are, that are real, they may be actionable or not, some may just be informative. If they're actionable, um, you then the, our task is really to add functionality system so we can assign a report to a particular team and then that team can process it further market is completed it comes back and then the user can can give feedback whether it completed successfully or not and I think yeah. that's a kind of idea yeah that's exactly the idea so how many people have you got in your little um, in uh, your gang in our little gang we've got four people yeah. and we're hoping to Shanghai as many PHP <laughs> developers uh, in as possible um, I mean one of the things that we're working on at the moment is the specific user role so we've identified yeah. three users uh, you're gonna have the average you know the citizen who's sending in uh, a message on an SMS uh, yeah. Uh, there's the admin panel, which is going to be within the city council. Yeah. Um, and then there's the people that fix it. Yeah. Now, one of the interesting things uh, about this project uh, and the infrastructure in Tanzania is that there isn't a specific group of people that go around fixing things. There's the map of crap idea for the people that are dealing with waste collection and emptying uh, pit latrines. Yeah. Uh, but with this uh, sort of project, there's many problems. So there's going to be possibly a team that goes around specifically fixing water pipes. Yeah. So if they're specifically fixing water pipes, that may be done on a very local basis with um, someone who runs his own business fixing water pipes, and we'll be able to tender for these contracts uh, using uh, a micro. And you sort of you sort of wrapped it all under the, the handle of fix my slum. Yeah. Um, fix my street and open 311 uh, models yeah. within the UK yeah. which can be used uh, to tell your council to fix certain things yeah. and opens a dialogue so. yeah great we'll, we'll catch up on this tomorrow again see how it's going uh, so, brilliant thanks a lot thanks, thanks. Uh,